Item number SCP-6652, Security Level 3, Containment Class Safe, Disruption Class Flam, Risk Class Warning. Special Containment Procedures SCP-6652 is to be contained in a locked safe in Site-19 in the event that an object or personnel contains visible traces of SCP-6652 on it, the immediate location is to enter lockdown under declared safe by site command. Objects, objects or personnel which show traces of anonymous paint from SCP-6652 are to be escorted to decontamination. Description SCP-6652 is a wooden box with two latches on its front. The box contains a canvas, a set of three paintbrushes, and a wooden palette with several colors, black, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, AC1, AC2, AC3. Of watercolor paint embedded into the palette as well as a small diary. The amount of paint in the palette does not appear to decrease after continued use. Three of the watercolor paints contain anomalous colors that are difficult to perceive with the naked eye. These paints are reported to become distorted and cause severe discomfort to those viewing them. When dry paint on the canvas is exposed to water, it will proceed to fade away. Anomalous paints are referred to as AC, anomalous color, along with a numerical designation. The anomalous paints each have distinct effects. These effects will only take place if the paint is viewed directly on the canvas without obstruction and with the naked eye. The effects of the paint change, vary, or gain entirely new effects if the anomalous paints are mixed with other paints in the kit. Anomalous Color Law AC1 will be first moderate signals transmitted from the brain. For example, a subject affected by AC1 will move their head to the left, even with the original brain signal transmitted as to move their head to the right. AC2 will begin to cause the vision in a viewer's eyes to begin to learn slowly. This effect can cause the viewer's eyesight to become blurred enough to effectively render a viewer blind. This effect will continue until a viewer has not seen AC2 for a period of at least 46 minutes. AC3 causes the viewer's olfactory, auditory, tactile, and gustatory senses to not function until the user ceases to apply AC3 to the canvas from SCP-6652. Adenum A. Diary Translations The book found in SCP-6652 contains a non-anonymous diary, written in LAN. The book has been damaged severely by environmental conditions, and therefore few pages have been recovered. Surviving pages have been collected. 1. Since Cambria's tragic passing, it had become apparent that I was truly alone. My son didn't have to slightest thought to come to see me, even if he may be off of his wife, so lucky that he may hold her close day after day. Yet the great burden of my loss of her lingers, eating away at me. I opened it today. The box made it hard. Supple wood stained in shining brown. Fear still craned its neck from the shadows as I held it in my hands. But, whether by the curiosity inside me, or the love I have for Cambria, I opened it. I found a flat disc of wood, carved into a shape that could not be compared with cheaper pallets I've observed in corner stores. There were fine, silky brushes alongside it as well. I have always loved paint, and yet the mere sight of these forced with realization of what they truly were. It brought back my obsession over the simple hobby as I gazed over the tools. Three of the colors he gifted me were unlike any other I've seen. They've twisted and turned in shades of made of light that fascinated me. Solely laying my eyes upon them 
caused a slight throb of my head. Two. So, of course, once I awoke the next morning, I rushed to the box, running my fingers over it as I placed the instruments he had given me beside one another. And so I began to paint. It was wondrous. Part of three strange colors began to play with my eyes. It made me see blurred and my hands. They were moving like snakes with a will of their own. But it was wonderful, feeling the ecstasy of what she'd left behind. I mixed the stranger paint with each other, and I saw her. Even though I wasn't painting her, my wife has come alive upon the canvas. Rest of the page was too damaged to decipher. Five. Do I really need him to see me? I don't need his support. I have my canvas. He can't be happy with his wife. Maybe they have kids. My arms are growing tired. I wouldn't know if I drank it, would I now? But I painted anyways, my eyesight's been going, fading and blurring and whatever else. It's okay though, right? I don't need to see my paintings to know that they are beautiful, just like Cambria. I remember her, and she used to cry tears of happiness when we were together. She used to go outside. I would force her not to. She never understood it wasn't safe. But I suppose she only understood when I showed her what would happen if she left. She doesn't realize that she is mine. She isn't supposed to have stupid attachments like that. I don't have time to keep writing for so long. I want to paint. Twelve. I don't need him to visit. I don't need his bloody grandkids. All I need is Cambria's blessing. My muscles hurt. I can only see the colors now. Painting is numbing to me. I still paint. This is what she wanted, right? This is love I'm feeling. I paint her sometimes. She looks wonderful. Her eyes even blink, and her skin glistens, and she breathes. I'm sad I have to turn to skin purple and blue. She didn't mind. She was supposed to love me. Forever. I fell asleep at the table with her today. Sixteen. I love her. She watches me while I paint. I don't leave the house much. All I need is to paint. She whispered to me that she loved how I painted her. It's hard to walk, and my eyes are growing weaker by the day. This is a sacrifice to see her again. I am willing. It hurts so much. I love it. I can't stop because I shouldn't. I don't need to. She shouldn't spend her time on anything else. She's mine. She belongs to me. She isn't supposed to care about anything else. The paintings go blue now. I can't get it right. It isn't perfect anymore. I hope he never comes here again. Screw him. Screw my grandchildren. I love her. I don't move from this chair because she can't either. Cambria is so beautiful. I haven't slept yet, but two days isn't long, no? I have some stale bread near. If only she could taste it with me. This is my favorite one yet. I'm obsessed with her. I'm glad she never died. 30. I'm addicted to her. Her love and her beauty. She talks to me, almost smiling. I'm going to be with her. I love her. What's the date again? It's still 1945, right? 61. She wouldn't come see me anymore. No, no. I love her. She must come. She must, or she'll bear consequences for it. My arms hurt. It's hard to move them. It was all her, my love. I knew for this occasion I must make it special. I started once more. It took all my time, but is she time for me? I'm going inside now. I'll leave this behind. That freaking ass with this kid comes by. I know he won't. He doesn't care. All I need is my canvas. I don't know why she ran, ran, and died in the streets. My wife. <laughs>